Minister Houston, if, you, if I could ask you, well, firstly, in relation to industry, yeah. um, how many jobs do you think are at risk if, if we haven't seen this reform passed? Manufacturing delivers around 900,000 jobs to the nation. It's a big part of the economy and the ability to make things across sectors is going to be very vital for our longer term economic growth. So we were very co conscious of that in designing a energy reform package that would get the balance right and ensure that businesses like these and others can keep the doors open and secure jobs. So that was really important. There are a lot of executives, a lot of lippy executives out there at the moment making all sorts of claims in the uh, aftermath of the parliament joining uh, to get these laws through. They weren't really there with a lot of suggestions beforehand about how to rein in prices that were basically proposing to skyrocket. And my issue was all along that they, the, well, there are some gas executives that propose nothing and oppose everything. Uh, now, some of those executives might want to hold on to every single dollar of their Putin profits, but we are making what's right in the national economic interest. We're happy for gas companies to make a profit. We, we want them to make their investments and we respect the contribution of their workforce, but you've got to get balance right across the economy so that a lot of businesses, not just some businesses are making profit, and a lot of businesses are creating or securing work we will get that balance absolutely right. Just in relation to the Australian Republic movement, we have mm -hmm. seen a lot of drama overnight with the Royals. Um, do you think it is time that Australia seriously looks at becoming a republic? Has enough time passed now that uh, passed to go to I think there are a lot of people, particularly in the Labor Party, that have got a great ambition for the nation, which is that we should have our own head of state. We should uh, be able to have an Australian Republic. We should be able to uh, be mature enough uh, to have the debate and be able to stand on our two feet as a as a country. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has been happening, and, and clearly we were very respectful uh, following the passing of Her Majesty. Uh, but I think uh, Australians also, you know, do have belief that in the longer term we can become a republic, and in due course we will sort that out. We'll leave that there. Look, it's pretty interesting the extent to which this war of words now, well, not just words, but action as well, but the words are really heading up between Labor, the federal Labor government, and gas companies. Earlier in that news conference, just before we dipped into it, in fact, Chris Bowen called claims from the gas companies, gas suppliers, that this was a Soviet-style intervention by Labor, that is the price caps. Chris Bowen called that shrill and laughable. Ed Husick said... There are a lot of lippy executives that didn't have many answers when we were discussing what to do to rein in prices. So gas companies have said, hey, why weren't we part of the solution? Labor's saying we tried to, to make you part of the solution. Where it goes from here is, well, Labor's put out its action. The beyond 12-month action is a bit less clear right now. But what will happen in terms of investment? Uh, will the threats of the gas companies be followed through on? This is a, a pretty high stakes time in politics because it's a big issue. Labor's offered its solution. We'll see what it does to prices and what it does to gas in the country as well.